Hello everyone, today I bring you the camera controller add-on update for Blender. This was the biggest update since its launch, and it's available for download on Gumroad, with a free beta for anyone who wants to test if their computer and Android phones support all the features. This add-on was created for artists who want to create their animated cameras in a more artistic way for their projects. Using their phone to control the camera within Blender's 3D space, being able to rotate and move to create action scenes, car scenes, aerial scenes, and much more. In this update, the biggest feature was screen capture, which streams the Blender camera to your smartphone with low latency and good quality to give you more freedom during recordings. The most interesting thing is that a server is generated and you can access it in larger size on a tablet connected to a rig along with the phone or even for the project director to follow the capture in real time as it's done in cinema workflow. This version also includes improvements, such as now you can open the camera controller app directly through your camera app by scanning the QR code. It will open the installed app already passing the IP and port data to establish the connection. Added a feature to invert rotation axes which can be useful for users of Chinese devices, where some models have the axis configured differently from the standard. Added a zoom system that will be captured during scene recording, giving freedom to create even more complex scenes. Enhanced capture, generating much smoother movements after scene baking when performing a recording. Added a camera leveler to help with recording and better orient your phone in the scene, and many other features you can check in the video description. Download this update now from your Gumroad library if you've purchased the add-on, and help us with feedback, bug reports, and suggestions. Remember that there's a free beta for everyone who wants to test. Soon I'll be recording a tutorial on how to use the camera streaming feature, but there's already a button called Learn How to Use that will guide you through all the steps. Thank you for watching, and soon, I'll be bringing tutorials and more news for you. See you in the next video.